we are grateful. We give you all glory and all honor and all adoration to you. We exalt your holy name because of whom you are. Jesus, we come before you tonight and we're asking, oh Lord God, that you will glorify yourself in our midst as leaders and pastors over the, the people of God. Pray that you will empower us tonight to pray. You will invigorate us with your spirit. You will energize and quicken our hearts. Where we have been cold and lukewarm and lethargic, let your fire from the holy altar descend upon our bosom. Whatever, O oh God, in heaven that have made us to be cold and lukewarm in any way, pray, O oh Lord God, that you will remove completely and you will do something unimaginable in our lives tonight in Jesus' name. If Amen. you do not talk, this will become blessing to the people we are leading. If our lives are not changed and transform ourselves, how do we become channel of blessing to the people? If, Lord, you do not visit us in a way that is very uncommon and unusual, how do we become, oh God, in heaven, a pipe? And a pipeline through which the life of other people can be heavily imparted. This is why we're asking that your hand will rest upon us tonight even as it was upon the life of Ezekiel. We saw it. The hand of God was upon him, and he carried him. The hand of the Lord will be upon us, and we will run, run ahead of our challenges of life in Jesus' name. We thank Amen. you because we in Jesus' mighty Amen. name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to begin to express our deep and profound gratitude unto our God for his loving kindness and tender mercy. The Bible says that giving thanks unto the Father who had made us to be of the earth in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness and have translated us into of his dear son. To his Lord, the forgiveness of sin. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, you are amazing. Jesus, you are glorious. Jesus, you are excellent. Jesus, you are beautiful. There is no one to be compared with Jesus. There is no one to be compared with Jesus. He has been from time immemorial. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Lord, you are King of Kings. Lord, you are God. Lord, you are God. Yes. Yes, Lord, you are the redeemer, the living Lord. Every morning, breath is a prayerful. It is doing one. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Holy, 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 the one God Almighty. Thank the Lord one second. I want to honor the the triumph God, the holy God, the powerful God, the everlasting God. We want to thank him so so much for all that he is doing, for the testimony that the Lord has been writing in our midst, for the answers to prayer that we have seen evidently in the life of some of the people we have prayed for. God has been gracious and gracious to our people. God has been gracious to our pastors and leaders. Let's thank God for the answers to prayer in the past. Let's thank God. Everlasting Father, God, we honor you. God, everlasting Father, we adore you. Blessed Father, you. we appreciate you, God so you of heaven. Worthy. Thank you, Word. Thank you Word. Father Word. God, because Glory. you are the God that answers the prayer. You yes. are the all powerful and the almighty Word. God. Thank yes. you, Father. You so are our Redeemer. You are the leader of death. Platforms of God. You are the Lord of great and mighty. Amen. 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 Ezekiel 37 verse 1, and the hand of the Lord was upon me, 
and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. We want to pray. The hand of the Lord shall rest upon all our pastors. Owa olo wanbe lori a ye mi yo. To unbe mi fo. To unbe mi sawe. Owa olo wanbe lori a ye mi. Owa olo wanbe lori a ye mi fo. To unbe mi fo. To unbe mi sawe. Owa olo wanbe lori a ye mi. Owa olo wanbe lori a ye mi yo. Don't be me for, don't be me sorry. Oh, 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 be oh, 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 Oh God, let your hand be so mighty upon our lives, oh God, upon our family, upon all the pastors and upon the brother, upon the father. in the spirit. If you were the workers training yesterday, if you were the workers training yesterday, the GS said something very striking and instructive. That play that said, uh, you know, you know, uh, um, be angry and see not. GS said that that was a command and that command has to be obeyed. And he said what, and he was telling us in verse 31, the Bible was against anger, all anger, all clamor, all evil speaking, all malice. And yet, in verse 26, we are told to be angry. And he told us categorically what that implies. Be angry at sin, be angry at self, be angry at Satan. Be angry at sin, be angry at self, and be angry at Satan. When we walk in the spirit, the flesh will not have rain upon all. A sickness cell, I was carrying in the spirit. Oh, I was carrying in the spirit. I was the Holy Ghost. Oh, Father God, 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 they look unto you tonight, oh God. We will be carrying in the spirit. 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 We will be Oh God of heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Do you know that a church like our deeper life, where you have outline for this, outline for Sunday, outline for that one, outline for STA, outline for that one? If you are not careful, you just be giving the people letter and the letter killing, the letter killing, but the spirit give a life. Jesus speaking, and he said, "The word that I give unto you, they are life and they are spirit." And you find people, they are asked to come and handle something. They are reading the letter to the people. They are reading the letter. I said the people cannot read on their own. I said the people cannot read what they are reading to the congregation. And then this one is dozing, that one is dozing, this one is dozing. Everywhere is dried, everywhere is cold. And look, come and let touch it. We want to pray. Oh, God. Oh, God. Invade our, hand, invade our life and invade our mess and invade everything oh, about God, we God, make God, the God, spirit of God. God, 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 God. Oh, blessed Father God, I look unto you, God of heaven, Lord, this night, mighty God, that your hand, your invisible hand of power, 
Lord, we begin to walk and prevail upon our life. We shall be carried by the Spirit. We shall be carried by the Spirit. A day by the Spirit. Jesus, name with me. Thank you, God. I'm asking my Father, God, take me away out of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which were full of bones, and caused me to pass by there and about. And behold, there were many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Can we describe this as a state of the church today in some of our districts? And they carried me, and I looked at it, they were very dry. Members, very dry. Workers, very dry. Leaders, very dry. Every spiritual dryness in our life, let the holy Lord. fire come. And take away dryness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let dryness be gone. 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 Dryness in our soul, dryness within and without, oh God, Almighty God, by your spirit and power, take away every dryness out of our lives, oh God, tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh great God, everlasting Father God, that your power, your spirit will possess our reign, the Holy Ghost will possess our inner man. The Holy Ghost will possess our soul. The Holy Ghost will possess every part of us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name. Amen. Touch, O Lord, today. Come and touch us, Lord. Restore a new revive every soul. Come and touch us, Lord. We need your touch, O Lord, dear Lord. Come and touch us, Lord. Oh, a new revive every life. Come and touch us, Lord. Look on this in our lives, Lord. In our church, Lord, come revive us, O oh Lord. The psalmist cried and said, We thou not revive us again, and the people may rejoice in thee. Let there be revival of the pulpit. Let there be revival of Bible reading, personal Bible reading. Let there be revival of personal prayer altar. O oh Lord, send revival. Oh Lord, send revival, revival upon pastors, revival upon leaders, revival upon our pulpits, revival upon our altar, revival of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Ah, oh Lord, send a revival. Oh Lord, send a revival. Oh Lord, send a revival. We need it in me. Oh Lord, send a revival. Oh Lord, send a revival. Oh Lord, send a revival. Let it begin with me. Ah. In Jesus. Name, we pray. Amen. Every dry bone in our life shall come alive. Every Amen. dry bone me shall come alive. Pastor, Amen. we want to prophesy. We want to prophesy. And he said unto me, Son of man, can this bone live? Can this situation hmm. be taken away? Can this thing yeah. receive answers to prayer? Can this thing yeah. receive it? Ancient, we want to pray in the name of Jesus. Every situation that looks like dry bone, we want to prophesy, come alive. I said, God, come alive. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
Oh Lord, everlasting Father God, I'm asking, oh God, every situation in our life that look like dry bones. Oh my Father God, I'm dryness within all the dryness in the family altar, all the dryness, oh God, in our various churches, oh God, all the dryness in the life of the wife and the children, oh God. All the dryness in the life of the husband. Oh Lord, I'm asking, take away every dryness out of our lives, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost this night, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, all the dryness within, dryness, oh God, of memory, all the dryness in our businesses. Oh Lord, this be the business that is experiencing dryness. Oh God, let the power of God come upon those businesses and they will come alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Marriages, dryness in our marriage be taken away. Dryness Amen. on the altar. Dryness, shall this bone live? Everything that mm. represents dryness. Oh Jesus, the Bible says, no. prophesy unto this. Prophesy everything Every that looks like dryness, that God. represent dryness, oh God. Dryness, oh God, in our marriages, oh God. All the dryness of the womb after years, after years of marriage, and there is no issue in the family, oh Lord. All the dry womb, oh God, I command it to come alive now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dry bones shall rise again. Thank God. Lord, every sickness in the body that is as a result of that dryness, oh God. Mighty God, let life come, oh God. In the name of Jesus, upon that body now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You remember the person we went to pray for this afternoon, we're going to pray. Can that dry bowl live again? Yes, she will live. Her name is Sister mm. Gibbs. We want to mm. pray, Sister Gibbs, you will survive that cancer. We're speaking to you right now. You will survive that cancer. By the power Amen. of the Holy Ghost, you will rise from that cancer. The ways Amen. that is able to make you to walk, you will walk again. The soul body will deflate by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Shall we pray? Mighty God, everlasting Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up that sister, sister, give to God, oh Lord, that is in the hospital right now, battling with cancer. Lord, I'm asking my Father God, let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon us now. Oh Lord, the mighty Spirit of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, who begin to descend mightily, heavily, carefully. Upon our body, from the hand of our head, down to the soles of our feet, in God, every yoke of cancer to be taken to be pushed out of that system now. All the cancer within, cancer the bed of the breast, cancer within and without. Oh Lord, I stop the virus. I stop that 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 particular bacteria. The germ. I command everything to dry up now in the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name. Jesus, 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 Again, the Lord is in me, the Lord is in me. That that cancer cell, the cell, 
they are living things. Those cells will die. Those cells Amen. 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 will die. We Amen. command you to die. Cell, can some of cell die in Jesus' name? Shall we pray? Amen. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus. Consider ourselves, O oh God, in the body, O oh God. Father, we speak, O oh God, with us as you have commanded us. He said, prophesy unto this dry bone now, and they shall live. Almighty God, I command all the cells, the cancer cells, let everything begin to dry up now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the Jesus. power of the Holy Ghost, all Amen. the cancer cells, all the germs of the cancer, let everything dry up totally and completely by reason of the power of the Holy Ghost, even now. Amen. 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 Whatever represents dry bones among our pastors, hey, we want to cry unto God. We want to pray. We want to ask the Lord and say, Father, anything that represents dry bone, is it in their marriage? Is it in their finance? Oh, dry bone, it can be represented mm. in finance. It can be represented in job. It can be represented in marriage. Mm. It can be represented in ministerial life. It can be represented in the work mm. of God committed into one son. It can be represented, oh God, in any way, whichever way you are uh, you are experiencing dry bone in your business. Today, the life of God shall come upon it. The Bible says that the Lord God met upon man Amen. that he man became a living soul. Let the breath of God come upon your business. Let the breath of God come Amen. upon your mind. Let the breath of God Amen. come upon your Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, in our finances, God, every form of dryness in our health, all the dryness in our health, oh God, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, everything that represents dryness in our marriage, oh God, in our family life. Let I command, O oh God, that dryness to, to disappear now. Let the Spirit of God, the Spirit of life, come upon us and come upon our finances and come upon our businesses right now. Let life come into us, O oh God. Let everything become robust to the glory and to the honor of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, everlasting Father God, that we begin to mobilize, O oh God, the blessings of heaven upon our finances, oh God, the blessings of God upon our marital life, the blessings of God upon our businesses. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that represents dryness in the life of our children, O oh God, in the academics, O oh God, my Father God, all the dry memory, all the dry you know, dryness in their understanding of what they're studying. Lord, let that dryness be taken away, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, everlasting God, that the power of God will neutralize everything that you wish in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to speak into Nigeria. There's dryness in the land in this country. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will not collapse. The life of God shall come to Nigeria. The dryness Amen. in the land, the dryness in the economy, the dryness in commerce, the dryness in agriculture, the dryness, the dryness everywhere. There is dryness in the land. Except God intervene, many people, more people will go into depression. Except God mm. intervene, many are running elder scattered in the land. A lot of mm. families are scattered. A lot of people, they do not even know the next thing to do. Many families are confused. Dryness everywhere, confusion everywhere. Societal, societal depression, despair, discouragement. If we want to pray that the God of heaven, he said, prophesy unto this dry bone. Prophesy unto this dry bone. Prophesy. Can we prophesy? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, everlasting Father, I'm asking, oh God, 
will bring the kings of Nigeria before you, God of heaven, O oh Lord, all the dryness in the nation, all the dryness in our economy, all the dryness, O oh God, all the everywhere, O oh God, oh, my Father God, O oh Lord, take away this dryness from this, from this nation, Nigeria. Almighty God, immortal God, everlasting Father God, take away every dryness from this nation, from the affairs of this country, from the affairs of this nation, from the social economy of Nigeria. Take away every form of dryness, O oh God, by your power, by your spirit, O oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh God, Lord, make me to take away all the dryness, O oh God, by the power of your spirit, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, intervene. Oh Lord, step in, oh God, into the situation of this nation, Nigeria, by reason of your power. By reason of the anointing, by reason of the spirit of God, the breath of one Nigeria, my father, was the day, the breath of life, oh God, breath upon our economy, was the day, oh God, Lord, and everything we turn around, oh God, by reason of the power, all our refineries that are dry, oh God, let them begin to come alive, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, begin to move. Oh Lord, concerning the refineries that are dry, oh Lord, let all the four refineries in this once again, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything begin to boom once again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything become begin to boom once again, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We want to pray for Pastor Matthew. I want to cry unto the Lord God, whatever had brought tears like dry bone upon his life and family, whatever had brought pain and agony like dry bone upon his family. Oh, we want to prophesy. The Bible says, can this bone live again? Can this bone live again? What a prayer. What a prayer. What a, what a question. What a question God was asking. God knew what to do. God knew exactly what to do, but he was asking his servant. He was asking, uh, you know, Ezekiel. Oh. Ezekiel saw the situation. It was like irredeemable. Ezekiel saw the situation and he was confused. Ezekiel saw the situation. He said, Thou God, you know. Thou God, you know, before this one is a serious one. And God said, Oh, yeah, begin to decree and declare. And Ezekiel said, Like a prophesy, as I was commanded. Can we prophesy as we are commanded? The life of Pastor Matthew will bounce up again. It's financing. Mm -hmm sin up again. The ministry bans sin up again. All the things that have gone down in any way we prophesy and decree and declare. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come alive in every area. So God, let the servant of God rejoice again. Let the servant of the Lord rejoice again. Let God's servant rejoice. Are you praying? Are we talking to God in prayer? He will rejoice again. He will rejoice again by the power of the Spirit, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Most High God. Let the Lord do it. By the finger of the Most High, let him do it. Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh blessed God, I'm asking my Father God that to begin to do it once again, oh Lord, in the face of this nation, in our yeah. love, my Father God, let there be a funeral, oh God, is said, give my people, which over my all of themselves to pray, and seek my face, and turn from the enemies. God, everlasting Father, by your power, in the name of Jesus Lord, everlasting God, Lord, reign supremely, O God, in your power. Amen. Amen. The last prayer point, the last prayer point, what is that thing that represents dry bone in your life? And you want solution Wait, what is that thing? Can we tell the table before God? Can you be specific before God? Mighty God, everlasting Father God, 
represent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents dry bones, oh God, in my life. Dry bones in terms of jobs, dry bones in terms of my of my finances. Oh, God, take away all this leanness, all this blindness out of my finances, and yeah. even in the end of my job, my father, God, the power of your spirit to Lord. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, everlasting Father God, bless your Redeemer God, let there be a divine intervention concerning my situation, my Father, concerning my family, I fear, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. I call on Pastor Shagun now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we, um, you know, conclude this prayer section, we are going to pray for one of us by the grace of God, very faithful servant of God, doing the will of God, serving the Lord every day and every time. Yeah. But he has been having a kind of heal out. He has been having a kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> challenges when it comes to his health. Sometimes you discover that he will tell us that he's having a lot of uh, pains on the leg. I'm talking about severe one that will not mm -hmm. even allow one to do anything. That render one to be incapacitated. I mean, <laughs> you can imagine that kind of a thing which is actually the enemy's and the work. Jesus Christ said, he said, why must let the enemy came and so task among the weeks? We want to pray for this beloved servant of God. We want to pray for this, our pastor. We want to pray all the pain, all the things that the devil projected and fired into that leg and into his shoulder, into any part of his body. And it's affecting him that he cannot even you know, take care of his family and suppose. We want to pray tonight that that thing that is representing dryness in his health, that thing, the power of God will swallow everything up. Shall we open no, our right. mouth and begin to pray right that now? Open your mouth and that begin that to that call upon the name of the Lord. All those ill and anything that represents that pain in the leg or the shoulder, we want to pray, we want to hear testimony that the power of God will overshadow him. The power of the Holy Ghost will begin to break all the yoke now. The power of the Lord will be restored back once again upon his body, upon the neck, upon the shoulder, in every part of the body from the crown of his head. Down to the soul of the fish now. Let the Holy Spirit begin to walk upon him now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, really we want to have a brief discussion this night and we are going to hand over that meeting into the hand of the lord the god of heaven will take absolute Amen. control a lot needs to be discussed but then, even though we have a lot to discuss, everything must still be under the control of the Spirit of God. Nothing must be done carnally. Mm -hmm. Nothing must be done by the flesh. And that is why we want to pray that the Lord will lead us into this discussion. Amen. And God will give us solution, perfect solution, lasting mm -hmm. solution, that mm -hmm. by the grace of God, it will bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray as we hand over this meeting to the hand of God. Open your mouth and pray and say, God, preside over the meeting. 
Preside over the meeting, O oh God. Take over every decision that will be taken tonight. Take over, O oh God, even as we embark on this decision. As we embark on this discussion, O oh God. Right, O God, have your way. Let the divine take control. Help us once again, O oh God. A great God in heaven, we bless your name tonight. Thank you, Lord. We thank you once again for what you have done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, your servant has led us by the Spirit of God. And the theme of the program is the dry bone shall rise again and live. Amen. Father, we pray tonight, O oh God, whatever thing that is representing dryness, O oh God, in our health, in our spiritual life, to the point that many find it difficult to tarry in the place of prayer, to the point that many, many prayer lives have been swallowed up, many spirituality have been taken, have been taken, have been corrupted. Father, once again, we are praying, O oh God, all those things representing dryness in our finances, Dryness in our health, dryness in our marital life, dryness in the family life, dryness in the memory, dryness in understanding the scripture, dryness even in the life of our children that are going to school. Father, we are praying, oh God, all those dryness, oh God, we pray by your mighty spirit and power, you say prophesy, and the bone shall live again. We prophesy tonight, oh God, let every dryness, oh God, be swallowed up. By the power of the Holy Ghost tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray that tonight, O oh God, from this very hour, from this very moment, as many who are sick, sick in their body, sick in their mind, sick in their thoughts, sick in their memory, sick within and without, sick in the marriage, any kind of marriage that is even sick, and all the wounds that are dry. Father, we pray that tonight, O oh God, life will come into everyone tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, before the I hand over to Pastor Matthew, we have just one or two things to look into this night. And we have to quickly round up the prayer so that we can address those crucial uh, uh, you know, issues. Number one, without uh, wasting much time because we have limited time, has to do with our Saturday's attendance. As of yesterday, and I think the previous one also, the Saturday program seems not to be well attended. And we don't know actually what is going on. I remember very well that Saturday's program, we used to have as much as 15, close to 20 and all that. Yesterday, I remember I was on a journey, but even at that, Anywhere there is connection, I link up. Where there's no connection, the thing will go off. But I was communic I was equally there, and I saw that the attendance, I think it was around seven or eight. Uh, we don't we want to know to look at it critically. What could be the problem, the possible reasons, and how do we tackle it? Please, it's over to all of us now. I want everybody to speak out. What do you observe? What is the problem and how can we tackle this problem so that our attendance will bounce back as it used to be? Let's quickly tackle that one, please. Over to us. Are we hearing my voice, please? Uh, yes. Okay, Hello? please. Yes. Yes, sir. We are hearing, yeah, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, this Hallelujah. Is Pastor Victor online. You know, uh, we need to bless God in that so God has assisted us. Uh, as I said, normally on Sunday, we normally have uh, all follow-up prayer over Lagos, uh, a meeting, and that meeting normally stops at uh, 9.30. Just one-hour meeting. 
10 from 9 30 from 8 30 to 9 30 and sometimes you won't get to 10. the moment i give my report i would log out and log in on this one as well sometimes as in a busy day i coming back to what you have said not only saturday prayer meeting all our pray all our program the decrease is just multiplying day in and day out and as a minister of god you are a pastor in your church in your district or location pastor or district pastor every service day usher normally give us attendance as a shepherd you must take inventory of the attendance as a pastor attendance of your congregation and where you discover a decrease on it you will not be at peace. Things is going wrong somewhere. So I don't know. And my other observation, apart from the attendance, is that we don't pray. I normally say on Thursday when I'm leading the prayer by the grace of God, prayer meeting is not Bible study. We come to pray. We come to pray. We don't come to interface. Sometimes a brother told me that uh people monthly trip at prayer they don't pray they're just just online like that uh, to me it's not it's not helping them spiritually and it's not helping the minister that is leading as well let's get that when the prayer is hot people are praying okay and there is result then we call but when most of us see we pastors who don't pray we pastors who don't pray we this pastors pray i mean i understand we don't pray along the people most of the time I, I, I'm like, a, like one of the uh, meetings I was attending. A sister said, You don't pray. I told her, Where am I? I cannot pray. Except you are on a special duty, a special assignment. Like you said, Pastor Sego, you're on a journey. We understand that. But some of us that we are indoors at home, especially on Thursday, you are not outside. It is in the night at home. What stop you praying? That's what they find good. It's a working hour. People are on the road and all that in the day. And I mean, I tell you the truth, most of the Saturday I'm not, I'm not around. Most of the time I connect. I connect why maybe I'm in the gather or in, in the group or wherever. Like last week Saturday, we have a gym training. I have I, I, I was in the church. I still connect. You understand? Except you are you are actually on a spiritual assignment. So we need to look at this thing and we need to speak our mind out. Prayer meeting. Is a prayer program. We we'll call um, it's a prayer program. It is not a Bible study. It's a prayer program. It's a program. People have to pray. Pastors have to pray. Members have to pray. It's a program of prayer. So when we come for a program of prayer, we are not praying. We are just saying, I don't. I see it as it's not helping us. It's not helping us. I think we need to improve. We need to improve. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you for your response. We need to improve. Okay. Uh, if we are not praying, that is so we'll be having challenges. Spiritual challenges, marital challenges, financial challenges, health challenges. That's what we'll be having challenges. We pastors, I must confess, we are not praying. When we come for prayer meeting, we're not praying. I don't want to mention people's name. We're not praying. And it's not some of us that we want to speak is that we're not in mood we're not speak out. It's not right. We call program to solve to solve problems and to pray. It's a prayer pro pro program. It's not a planning program. We will call for our program maybe on Monday, maybe on Thursday, maybe on Saturday, and perhaps maybe on Sunday. I don't know. God will help us. We need we need we need we, we need to re, we need to readjust our our man's our uh, mindset. God will help us. So that's what I can all mm -hmm. say on this. Chego. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, I want to say something quickly to talk. Uh, in, Gen in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, uh, we are made to understand, he said, Be not deceived, God is not much. By the grace of God, like our pastor rightly said, this, the purpose of this online prayer meeting is for us to gather together. Uh, it's just like a way of saying that, okay, all of us will be together in the church and pray. But social media has made it easy that we can connect those who are outside Nigeria, those who are in America, those who are in UK and every other places, every other place, they can easily connect 
And it's like our spirit is connected together. Uh, you see, when prayer is going on and then we are do busy doing other things, uh, we can only deceive maybe our fellow brethren that are on this platform. And we can deceive our very self. But we can't deceive God. Here with our very self. When it comes to this aspect of praying, it's not a time for us to be busy doing other things. When we say we want to pray, let's focus on prayer. If it is 30 minutes we want to spend on that prayer, let us use it judiciously. Let us use it to the glory of God. And I want to tell you something. Everything we do for the kingdom and in the kingdom, there is a record before the almighty God. And that's why we need to be very careful. Because the people for we shall give account of ourselves unto God. So while prayer is going on and then we are not connected, and then it appears as if, like our pastor rightly said now, it's only maybe when some of us want to lead, that's when we come on board, or that's when we now unmute ourselves, or something like that. I think we need to get over all these things. We need to really get over it. So I need to say that, please, we are appealing to us, we have said it before, we are still trying to say it again. Please let us try and cooperate with the Spirit of God. And the Lord will give all of us the strength and the understanding to be at our best for him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please, Amen. Uh, Pastor, say one more thing. This is Pastor's planning meeting. Pastor Mike. Okay. Pastor Mike, can you please mute yourself, Pastor Mike? Pastor Mike, please, can you mute yourself? Or maybe it's not yes, there with this. Oh, oh, that is what I'm saying now. We are, we are now, Pastor Mike. Are you? Can you hear me, Pastor Mike? That is another yes. incident. I don't know. Maybe it's not hearing. I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. Thanks. Okay. Uh -huh, thank you so much. So what happened yesterday? You you are not online. Can you tell us why you are not online yesterday? Why are you not online, Pastor that Paul? So that has been leading us all through Saturday most of the time. So you, you put the advertisement on the platform. Why are you not online yesterday? Can you explain to the house, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's something I want all of us to, to know. Number one. All of us on the platform, we are adults. We are not children. Um, even sometimes, whether we are talking or not talking, you see, everybody has conscience. If I'm online and I mute myself, when I'm not doing anything, is it not to my own detriment? It is. Mm. That, was, that was why I started by saying that every one of us, we are all adults. Now, most times, if you don't see me online, by the grace of God, I have responsibilities in the church. And most times, like yesterday, I'm a old district leader. So I had a meeting with the yesterday, which coincided with that time. The, the, the meeting started from 9 till around past 2 or 3 o'clock. So most times, even to me coming to be something on the platform, is because my mind is there. Most of these things, myself and brother uh, Pastor Daphne, we don't stay together, but he works with me. So if I'm busy, I would have told him, you will lead today. Or the uh, title, whatever, I will send it on the platform so that that one can be there. And so I, I want to just say this. Finally, 
Um, all of us, as we are here, I, I listened to, although I joined late, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I, but I still have to join. And so what is happening with somebody not joining, not talking, we may not have a full idea. Just as I've said, if somebody is not busy and is not joining the prayer, he's not praying, is he not deceiving himself? He is. Mm. So I, I ask an adult, will I, uh, instead of praying, I'm doing something else. It, it's at, at my own detriment. So I don't even need anybody to be uh, uh, kind of policing me. I said, I should know what I'm doing. That's why I started by saying that we are adults. So uh, I want to plead, uh, just as we have said, if anybody is not doing anything, of course, we should all be free. And some of us, even on Thursday, some of us will come back late from work. Do you know that sometimes, even around maybe past 10 to 11, Sometimes some of us will be on the road. So just coming back from work. And sometimes we see a genesis to join. Not because it's convenient, but because our heart is there in the prayer. So God will bless all of us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I ask, the reason why I ask why you're not online is that most of the times, most of the times, we don't know your program. And you are you are one of the pastors. You're one of the persons on the line. See, let me tell you something. If we don't clarify things, we'll be having issues on the platform. I, I need to say this out. If we don't clarify things, we'll be having issues on this platform. Okay? Now, this is not the first time. Sometimes, if you have a program like that, you let, you, you let the house go. There's a pastor's, uh, pastor's uh, uh, platform. Okay? Very good. We are all adults. By God's grace, on Thursday, I have to lead the revival message. After that, I will still come again to the prayer meeting. I don't complain about that. There, there, is a, there is a level of commitment God has from us as leaders, as pastors. Okay, this is a pastor's prayer meeting. It's not a, a, any other prayer meeting. Then we are adults and all that. We are, we, are, we are adults. But all still the same. All still the same. Let us have clarification of our whereabouts. If you are so busy, you put it on the prayer uh, uh, pastor's platform. You have been so busy and all that. We understand. You are the one on, on Saturday. We don't know anything about it. Upper, upper Saturday, you are not online. But that also was verified. He was driving. He contacted Pastor Matthew and all that. The prayer started about, about uh, 15 after one or 20 after one. He had to tell me, he had to tell me that he was driving. So all these lapses, we cannot just keep quiet. We are adult. We are adult. We are adult. We are all adult. We are all ministers. If the GS give you call, if the GS give you a service at Bagada, I'm telling you fact. Even if the scripture, you have to be at Bagada as early as 6:45. As early as 6:45. So please, there's a commitment God requires from every one of us. Okay, we are all busy. Nobody is not busy. Everybody is busy. Even me now. I attend a meeting this night. From that meeting, I log out. I still attend this meeting again. You understand? So please, God expects commitment in every one of us. So we, we, all, we know we are all adults. But we cannot just keep quiet that we don't know any, any, anything about you and all that. And, and then things, things are just going to that way. We have to find a way to clarify things. Pastor Peter went. He was not able to have time again. He, he brings Pastor Shegu in and all that. And he told us. Because of his work, he let us to know. But you, nobody know your your in and out. Now you are not saying it, and uh, you are not saying uh, because of your activity and all that and all that. I understand. But if people know your in and out, they okay, we know very, quite quite all right. When Pastor Yomi also was having a program, he let us to understand. I personally challenge Pastor Yomi. He let us to understand about his program that 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 that, that is is running and all that. So please. That's why we are adults. God expects commitment and consecration upon us. But it's not going to be this platform for many years. Many people have, many people have left. This is what we started. So please, I don't know. Now we are, we are much. I think now we must. When me and Pastor Nathaniel was under this thing, we don't have, we don't have all these challenges. Like all girls, we don't have it. Now we have a lot of pastors on ground now. I will say having challenges. So please, 
place. There's no matter of being adult or no. There's a matter of commitment and concentration. Okay, please let's try to improve. Let's be around. If we pray for our benefit, we don't pray for our benefit. But may, may I also say this, please? May I also say this? May I also say this? Somebody contact me that he mentioned, he mentioned one of our pastor's name. That's why that we are praying. So and so is not is is he's not used to pray. I said, how do you know? He said you he said you started talking he moved himself and all that. So pe people <laughs> are watching us in the platform. I speak the truth and lie not. So please let's try to let's try to be in um adult and all that and all that. This, this, this is this is principle of of in of, of God's kingdom, our prayers. Let's 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 try. Let's try, please. I go grace. I, I am a pastor in, in the district church by the special grace of God. I know what I'm saying. Okay. Most of the time, I will be at Bagada. We have gentry at Bagada. I will say, Lord, give. See, make sure that I connect through the this thing. And in the road again, I'll, I'll still be following the prayer online. God will help us. I say, God will help us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sir, I, I, I have something to say. Um, I think at this time, all of us, um, I'm not picking on anybody. I understand everything that has been said. And you know that, I'm sorry to say, sir, even you, you are guilty of some of these things yourself. Because sometimes, when you are not leading sometimes, even though you may say uh, you are in a meeting, and you connect, and you are not talking. Nobody knows whether you are in a meeting or not. That's why I started, because, um, you see, I don't want to be saying this, but since um, we want to make corrections, then I think we should make everything better and plain so that everybody will sit up. I know sometimes on Saturdays you may connect but you are not talking. And uh, we don't you know point at kissing finger because I don't know your program. Just as you told me that we should make our programs known. I don't know whether you're in a program or not, sure. And that's why I, I'm saying that I understand everything that you have said, that correction should be made, everybody should sit up, things should be done properly, that's fine. It's the normal thing to say. That means that the charity must begin at home. All of us, without exception, whether we are busy or not busy, whether we are doing something or not doing something, I think it's high time everyone sat up and we do things the way it should be done. The Lord will help us. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very for much your observation. Yeah, Hello. Because I don't want to make any comment. I'll focus uh, on that. I don't want to make any okay. comment on that. Okay, right, please, um, okay. thank you very much, sir. Uh, I think uh, it's very clear. I, at least Pastor Mike has made some things very clear. Pastor Victor has said some things. Uh, let's just reach a compromise. Uh, I know from all indication of uh, it is not anybody's fault in this case, but let's try as much as possible as the grace of God will help us. Even though, um, you know, if you, are less, if you are not that committed, maybe to other assignments in the church, please, let's try our best and let's make ourselves available. I pray that the Lord will help all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, yeah. The only thing I just want to beg us is concerning the enrollment. I mean, as in, uh, sorry, the attendance, rather. The attendance on all the other days. 
I understand that on Monday morning, that the one that Pastor Yomi used to handle, not everybody may be able to attend because of Lagos uh, life. People want to go to work and all that and all that. So it may not be everybody that may want to attend, but at least uh, what about other days, like Thursdays, like Saturday, like Sunday, like this now? Let's particularly Saturday, sometimes there will be a kind of free day. And I don't know whether it's our publicity that is not, uh, it's almost uh, dwindling. Uh, the Lord will strengthen us. Let us not be weary in well doing. We have been doing that. I used to see Pastor Mike, you know, sometimes in the fact, the kind of hard work he used to put on those things, they can be very wonderful. When it's almost about 10 minutes or 30 minutes, he will send a reminder again and all that and all that. Um, please, let's just continue in that spirit. It has been encouraging. It has helped many people. In fact, it has really brought alertness to so many people. And then let's make a kind of personal contact to some of our brethren that are, that may not be online or we have not been seen. That is this particular sister. Uh, um, I've, I've forgotten her name. She stays in Lagos here. Maybe Pastor Mati will remember her name now. Uh, uh, for some time now, we have not been seen her for quite a long time. And please, we need to check up on one another. Uh, so that to find out this what and what I Sister Wu. Yes, Sister Esther, but yeah. Esther, my name. Yes, please. Uh, maybe some of our sister can help us check, check on her to know. Because I remember that I was a time she said that she was not having answers and all, I mean, uh, Android and all that and all that. I don't know, maybe that's what is still affecting her now, or maybe some other things. Yeah, we have not been seen her. She's not fully represented again. I will uh, see her. Okay, thank you very much, sister. God bless you. Then, uh, okay. Then, Mommy Ajiro Tutu, I used to talk about that. When I first joined, those are people that I know. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Those are people. Okay, like Mommy Ajiro Tutu. I I don't know her in person. Of course, she stays in maybe in abroad and all that. But then I know these are regular participants that used to attend the program and all that. Probably maybe because of I remember that was the time she said she was running a course. But I know that uh, maybe there may be a little time that once in a while she can be joining us and all that and all that. Please let's see how we can encourage as many as possible that the way they used to be regular before, all of a sudden, they just stopped. I then, Pastor Femi, I think for some time also, I don't know, maybe because of the nature of his job, he's also not too stable. Please, as many as we can remember. Then this our pastor, the brother in the Germany, uh, is it Pastor Paul, I mean? Pastor Femi. I don't know. Femi. Femi. Sir? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. I, I noticed that I've not been hearing uh, hearing about him again. And uh, please, we need to check up to see what I don't even know. Somebody told me that maybe they have changed his number. So, please, those who have uh, have his number, to help us send it to us so that some of us can contact him and encourage and all that. We should not just keep quiet. It's not uh, we cannot leave our brethren to fight the battle all alone. Let's be. Uh, let's be, an, uh, be our brother's keeper. That's all I'm just trying to say. So that by the grace of God, as we begin to move up the mountain, the Lord has given us the power, and the victory shall be ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I don't know, before I, uh, okay, if, you, if there's any other comment, please, you can go ahead before I hand over to Pastor Matthew. Okay. Okay, we are hearing you. The challenge is that let's, the challenge is that let's contact, let's do follow up, let's do follow up, let's okay. let's, let's contact people privately, let's chat up with them. This 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 type of uh, fellowship is lacking. I have I have shared with people I communicate mm. with. 
Okay, you are set up you communicate. Okay, it's, 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 it's not proper. Okay, so and so is going, so and so is mm. going through challenges. It's only brother A, brother B is aware of it. Other mm. members, leaders, leaders are not aware. So this rapport fellowship is, is, is being absent. I will, I will tell you the naked truth. Is the absent? Is the absent? So for mm. both love to, to continue. Mm. This type of uh, visiting each other, calling each other, texting each other, ask their way be. How is things with you? Do you understand? It's very, very vital. Mm. Okay. So if you are, if you are, right, if, if you are contacting you people, just contact them with sense of belonging. Just come to check on you. Why is everything? Mm. Let them speak out their mind. Don't go with message mm. of condemnation. Let's show love. Oh. The, Lord, the Lord will help yes. us. We understand. Thank you very much. Thank you. For some time, I don't know any of us here. We have not shut him up. We have not called him. We have not uh, messaged him. Yeah, and it has been in this platform before every one of you join this platform. It's like a father. So sometimes, although you know what we are going through, all what we are seeing and all that, you're the force and all that. But once they were you shut him up, up. I just I just want to greet your father for that inside your family as the ministry. You understand? So that that fellowship is being lacking. It's being lacking. Mm. If now I can get with Pastor Sego only out of the old pastors on um, Pastor's platform. I don't, I don't communicate with Pastor Ben. I don't communicate with, with, with Pastor with uh, uh, with Pastor Peter. I don't communicate with Pastor Yoni. I don't communicate with the rest of the pastor. Then that is that, that is the challenge we are having. That is the challenge we are having. So there's there's this communication link. Okay. Uh -huh. let's, let's communicate with one another. Do you understand? Let's say Lord we help us. And may I also say this again? If you have any issue with anybody, please, please, for heaven's sake. Contact the person individually and resolve the issue. Don't don't put anything in your heart. Don't bother anything in your heart. It will not help you as a minister, and it will not help your ministry. Mm -hmm. If you have issue with anybody, please go to him. Contact him privately and tell him how you feel. Express yourself. Express your heart, tell him, so that you can be released and you can be set free. If you have something in your heart against anybody in this platform, it will not help you spiritually, it will not help you earthly as well. So please, mm -hmm. let's let let go. Let let not be free. Let, like I used to tell you, you can approach me anytime, anywhere. So do you understand? If I say something you are not happy with, you can private shut me. For you to keep that thing in your heart, it will not help you as a minister of God. This pastor's, this pastor's uh, prayer flag will not help any, will not help anybody in the ministry. If mm. God gives us on. So you have to be Amen. free. Free yourself. Free heart. Don't allow animosity. Don't allow Satan to plant seed in your heart. May God give us wisdom. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for how far God has helped us. I want to hand over to Pastor Matthew so that we can uh, we can at least um, round up the whole, give us a summary of the whole thing before we round up to things for tonight. For tonight. Over to you, Pastor Matthew, sir. Let us pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name because you are God. And you will continue to be God. You never change. We thank you, Lord, because of all what has happened, discussion, expression of feelings, and then the tendency, the ambition, the anxiety that your work should grow. We thank you, Lord, because it has of your love. We have been selected. We are elected. You are chosen to lead the work. How grateful we are as your son. 
that out of millions of people, you have chosen us, you have selected us, you have elected us to lead this work. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not disappoint you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We glorify your name for effort, every one of us are putting in. You see, our sealers, oh God, that more than our ability, we want to serve you. We know mm. the work belongs on to you. And then we cannot do more than what you have done in the job. But we pray as we are running the race that at the end, you will not ask us that out of the talent I've given to you, many do you use. I pray by the mm. power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we come. You see how serious we are. The person that is sick, you see in his voice that God, I want to serve you. Although there may be limitation, but I know you have selected me. Mm. Many people you have given more than one talent, and then you see them. They say, Yes, and the another talent, I'm so busy. But this talent, too, you have given to me. I don't want it to be wasted. Father, remember me. Let me be useful for you. Amen. As many people, yes, you are giving them the talent. They, the, 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 the situation do not allow them enough to come and do what they can do as the best thing for you. You see the serious, and they seem like you do not see all. You do not understand. You see, but you are testing us. Like if I can give them this little one, what about if I give them the big one? How are they going to perform? Father, we are on behalf of every one of us. I'm on, that, on my knee. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you have selected us, this work at the long run, you not stop us from entering the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You are the mighty one that no one can ever make equal uh, uh, equal agreement with. Whenever we are dedicated, whenever we are dedicating our time, still, it can never match up with what you have done for us. But Father, in one force, we come before you this today. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, for everyone, you see our mind, we continue to energize us in Jesus' name. No. If this is the case, I will drop out. I will not do this work again. It will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, when we are leading, that's when we need more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In order to go in a very good relationship, in friendship, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ for every one of us, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding we need to try to take this job to your expectation. Father, you give God continue to give to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, even those people who are not holding any position, Individually, we have talked together and we have seen how silly they are for this work. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ at the end of this race. Father, welcome my children, welcome my daughter, welcome my son. We be the portion of every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And we are just a little, little challenging. I, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, you will lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. the end of everything, we have reason to glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, for today, our intention is to pray like this. That last week, we pray. Esau asked the Jacob as deceived him. And then uh, he went to the Asik. But Asik, Asik gave him a, 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 a blessing that remained in his mind. At the long time, when Jacob he saw to him, I have more than enough. Then we see it in the life, in the uh, Almighty God. 
We see it uh, in the life of Ismael. Abraham mm. need to seek, need to beg for Ismael. And we see the blessing you send down upon Ismael beyond human understanding. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, as many of us that we are online today, and we are saying, look at this one, you have done it for this particular person. Look at that one, you have done it for this particular person. What about me? I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the uh, the 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 uh, the art, the acting uh blessing, you will shower it upon every one of us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I bring every one of us into you. For many that want to pay school fees, for many that are looking for work, for many they are looking for how to take care of their family. For many, they are looking for, Father, I want to be a man. Why should I be this? Why should I be that? For many, they are looking for something to pluck. For many years, for many months, and they are dead. It has not been done. Father, what will be the benefit? But we are coming together, and the sign is not dead. If the sign mm -hmm. has been dead, my dear brother, many people will have even become me. To see, come to the come to the prayer. There's no need for publicity. There's no need. We can see when the revival blow out in Lagos. How many of us were going out? People were coming themselves. Yes, it, it blow out. We see people. They do, they are doing the follow up. So two of them march together. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus I, it, for every one of us that in the meeting today. I'm using one of us, and many of us have heard about them as a point of contact by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in ministry, financially, physically. You will establish every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And anyone that see us as forth from this moment, what they are going to see is the glory of the Lord. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, if see us, we invite them to Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Ephesians, I've been looking at it. It was telling us, let us forget all these things. Let us continue to move forward. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, if in the world they are forgetting a lot of things and they are moving forward, what about we, your children? I pray by the power and the blood of oh, those people you have given the five talents. They got that put to the, that man that you double the talent, it become ten. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I've been rushing. Because I remember the Bible said, collected from this and added to your own. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will energize them more. They will do more in Jesus' name. For Amen. those people who have the talent and then, they have not because of one circumstances or the other. I pray by the power and the blood, you will raise their head up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And at the Amen. end, Every one of us we have reason to glorify your name. For Amen. all our sisters, yes, they are not the leader, but they have their intention that we are coming to do the prayer. But by the power that they pleasantly listen to us, see how we can take this prayer meeting uh, forward. I pray by the power and the blood, they are giving you they are giving you their time a million fold. We are going to reward them in Jesus' name. Amen. We are bad. They have been too. They will be much in the name of Jesus Christ. We are there. We are there. Any much? They will be any the greatest in the name of Jesus Christ. The rest of every one of our life, we will not use it in pain in Jesus' name. From Amen. this moment, we are going to open way for us in the name of Jesus Christ, and the glory of the Lord will continue to be our strength. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. Thank In you, Jesus' Lord. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, we shall meet on the uh, a serial line defined intervention by the grace of the Lord. Uh, God will continue to help. I want to say thank you to every one of you by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I can see that serious 
in the life of every one of us. What I want you to know is that there's nobody that walk with that love that regrets by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. From this moment, your mouth will be full of testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. Thank you, sir.